Welcome to today's video where I'll show you how to find the minimum risk portfolio using the solver function in Excel. As a reminder, our portfolio consists of two stocks, A and B, which have the following expected return, standard deviation and correlation figures. In a previous video, we showed how to calculate the risk and return for different portfolios consisting of these two stocks using these formulae. For example, we found that a portfolio where 0% of our funds are invested in A and 100% are invested in B has a return of 0.58% and a risk of 1.44% and so on. We then plotted these figures to show the efficient frontier and found that all portfolios below this point with a return of 0.7% are suboptimal and therefore should not be considered. However, this 0.7% return figure is only an approximation of the minimum risk portfolio. Today, we'll use the solver function in order to determine exactly which proportion we should invest in stocks A and B to minimize our portfolio risk. The solver function is an Excel tool that is used to find optimal solutions for decision problems. It's especially useful if you want to find a minimum or maximum answer by changing variable cells. In our scenario, we want to minimize the risk or standard deviation figure shown in red by changing the weight in A shown in blue. Now we're only telling Excel to optimize the weight in A as the weight in B is one minus the weight in A, which will be calculated automatically. To do this, enter the data tab and then click the solver function. We're going to set cell F24, the risk calculation, as the objective cell and we'll click min as we want to minimize this number. We're going to achieve this by changing the weight in A so we can select C24 here. We can keep the default settings for the rest and then click solve. Now what Solver has done now is test all the different weights in stock A until it has found the weight which minimizes the risk. In this case, the weight in A which minimizes the portfolio risk is 26%. And since the weight in B is 1 minus the weight in A, this gives 74%. Therefore, this portfolio would give a return of 0.68% and a risk of 1.05%, which is indeed the lowest risk figure in our table. So you may be wondering, what's the point of calculating the minimum risk portfolio? After all, there are other portfolios with a higher risk, which offer higher returns, such as this one or this one. Well, certain investors will be more risk averse than others. For example, investors nearing retirement will likely be looking for a more stable income than say someone who is 25 years old with no dependents. Therefore, they may find that a minimum variance portfolio better meets their investment goals. This brings us to the end of this video where we explained how to calculate the minimum risk for a two stock portfolio. Feel free to check out both the efficient frontier and risk return calculation videos, which are both linked in the description below. Please give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful and subscribe to the Excel Hub for weekly Excel tutorials, techniques and examples.